What's up, Broadway world? My name is Jamie Glickman, and welcome back to another episode of The Dressing Room, where we talk about everything at the intersection of theater, style, and beauty. I think we can all agree that 2020 was a crazy year and felt like a fever dream, to say the least, and I just can't believe that it's 2021 already. Like, what is happening? So basically, we're living in the 20s again, which is why this video is dedicated to the Roaring Twenties, otherwise known as the 1920s. The 1920s was a decade full of excitement and creation, and people were celebrating because the war was over, and the economy was booming, and the Harlem Renaissance completely redefined arts and culture. 100 years later, and we are at the beginning of the decade and hopefully nearing the end of this global pandemic, and I can only hope that we experience our own version of the Roaring Twenties. Maybe we can call it the Soaring Twenties, and hopefully it's not the Boring Twenties. But yes, all we can hope for is that Broadway returns and that arts and culture just start booming like they did in the 1920s and become a huge part of our daily lives yet again in a safe way. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be creating a classic flapper inspired makeup look and stick around to the end to hear some 1920s musical theater facts. All right, let's get into it. First, I'm going to moisturize my face because we're going to be putting on a lot of powder and foundation. Most 1920s women didn't wear this extreme of an eye, but flappers would wear darker shadows on their eyes to create a more sultry nighttime kind of look. And they would sometimes smudge eyeliner with petroleum jelly over their entire lid. Makeup played a huge part in helping women recover from the horrors of the war, and they used makeup to assert their new sense of feminine power. So I'm just priming my eye with some Tarte concealer, and I'm starting off the eye makeup first since it's so dark and there will definitely be fallout. The eye is pretty simple. I'm just going in with a dark brown shadow and stamping that all over my lid. Next, I'm taking a lighter shade and swiping that into my crease to create some dimension. And then I'm taking that same dark brown color and putting it on my lower lash line to create even more depth. I'm also going to add some liquid liner and fake eyelashes to accentuate my eyes even more. I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner and the Ardell wispy lashes, which are my favorite fake lashes to use. And I'm using that with the duo lash glue. Fake eyelashes were not used in the 1920s, but showgirls and actresses and flappers would darken their lashes on the tops and bottoms to create some drama. So that is the look we are going for today. 1920s makeup was centered around creating an almost artificial looking face. They used a lot of powder to create that almost corpse-like look, which is so different from that natural, dewy, glowy makeup we do today in 2021. So I'm starting off with my Laura Mercier primer and using my IT Cosmetic CC Cream and Tarte Shape Tape to create an even skin tone. And all of these products come in a huge range of shades for different skin tones, which I'm in love with. All right, so now for the fun part. So 20s women were plucking their eyebrows for the first time which is very exciting, but I will not be doing that because my natural brows are really thin and I don't want to ruin them. So instead, I'm going to comb some concealer through them and set them with powder to make them just a little less noticeable on my face. And I'm also going to take the excess powder and set the rest of my face. And I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Duo and I'm just tracing the natural top line of my eyebrows and dragging it down towards my temples. I can't tell if I look really sad or surprised. Either way, this is definitely a look that I would have to get used to, but this is what the ladies did. As they say in Thoroughly Modern Millie, it's time to raise your skirts and bob your hair, so I got a wig from Amazon. The ladies of the 20s would put blush on the apples of their cheeks, which created the appearance of a more rounded face. I'm using this Revlon blush in the shade Marvelous and setting my face with this e.l.f. setting spray. And now I'm going to take this red Maybelline lipstick and paint on an accentuated Cupid's bow for a more doll-like look. The first ever swivel lipstick tube was invented in 1923 by a man named James Mason Jr the more you know. And I'm adding some Great Lash Mascara just to darken my eyes a little bit more on the top and bottom, just to add some extra oomph. 
And then I'm putting on some pearls and a cute little headband to finish off the look and we have officially transported to the past and I feel like I'm looking at a ghost from the 1920s. I'm really happy with how this came out. I don't feel like myself. The brows are a huge change from what um, most people do nowadays. <laughs> In honor of the 1920s, obviously, I put together a little list of musicals written in the 1920s that you should check out. So here's number one. The Music Box Review opened in 1921 at the Music Box Theater and it featured some amazing performers of the time like Charlotte Greenwood, John Steele, Grace Moore, and Fanny Bryce. And Irving Berlin also starred in the show and sang all of his songs. And the opening number was sung by eight chorus girls and they performed the song Eight Little Notes. Number two is Strike Up the Band and it was written by George and Ira Gershwin. The show is actually about the proud owner of an American cheese company that declares war on Switzerland because of a tariff on imported cheese. A lot of classic songs came from that show such as the Man I Love, I Got a Crush on You, and the Fletcher's American Cheese Choral Society. I'm just kidding. That's not, that's not the most well-known song from the show. Moving on. Number three is Shuffle Along, which was a musical written in 1921 by Flournoy Miller and Aubrey Lyles with music and lyrics by UB Blake and Noble Sissel. The four writers met at an NAACP benefit in 1920 and they had never written a musical before or had ever been on Broadway. The plot centers around Sam and Steve who run for mayor in Jimtown, USA and chaos ensues. This show marked a huge breakthrough for African-American performers and definitely made musical theater history and Shuffle Along paved the way for POC actors in years to come, which is extremely important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun creating this look and sharing some 1920s musical theater facts with you. I truly don't recognize myself and it's freaking me out. The eyebrows still getting used to it. Um, but other than that, I really like this look. I probably am gonna leave it on for a little bit and just walk around the house in my sweatpants with this face on, um, cause why not? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.